Hello everyone! Today I was not supposed to uh, do a video, but I, I, I can hold myself. I need to share this with you uh, as my DV4 Ohm is running a beta test firmware right now and it's very impressive. Once again, the team at Wireless Holding and Electron has done it and it delivered a promise. It took a little while, but it's working and it's awesome i'm I, i'm i have no words it's amazing this box doing so much stuff the dv4 on you'll be impressed and i can't wait to get my hands on the dv4 mobile as well and i'm in the market right now to change my car and i'm looking at an hybrid or maybe a plug-in hybrid and one of the model that I, that i look had a glass top so this can be a problem for an antenna, but if it continue like this, the DV4 Ohm will come in my car and uh, will do all mode. That will be great as well. So today, uh, as you can see, it's Sunday afternoon. Uh, I do not work today. I did not shave. I'm sorry. I didn't comb my hair, but I was not supposed, like I say, to do a video today. But well, for me, those video that I'm doing for you guys is like receiving you as visitors in my shack. And what you see is what you get. So, sorry about this, but I needed to share that information with you guys. So, what we're going to do is uh, explain exactly what the new firmware, it's a beta firmware, uh, a beta test that I'm part of. So, for those of you who already have DV4 home at home, well, you will have to wait a little while, but uh, usually, uh, uh, I don't want to set any expectation here, but usually when uh, we test firmware, it doesn't take long since, uh, for it to be out. And what's the major change? Well, the DV4 Ohm is doing D-Star since the beginning, and the, it was doing DCS and REF, and they've added in the... In, uh, in fall they added the XRF reflector for those who live in Quebec and want to access the French reflector which is V2 VPS that has been added also in fall which is working great and they also uh, it was working in DMR plus there was only a few DMR master server that was available and it was doing an XDN since uh, one update in fall as well now today what I'm test, I'm testing. I got FCS Fusion Reflector added to the software, and I was able to be uplink into WireX using the DV4 Ohm, and it's working with FCS 1, 2, 3, and 4. All the reflector is there, and also they added all the DMR Plus reflector are there. They added the IPCS2 reflector. They added Brand Master for those who were waiting for Brand Master. They added Brand Master as well. And uh, also, what they did is they let you transcode between D Star and DMR. So, this is amazing. As you know, already know, I have an open spot as well who's doing DMR infusion. But this one right now, with the DV4 Ohm, if you have an extra DV4 Mini that you can insert in the back of the DV4 Ohm, it will actually let you transcode between DMR and D-Star. And I try it in Brandmaster, I try it in DMR Plus. And I was using my favorite, whoops, I was using my favorite uh, D-Star radio uh, to do DMR going through the DV4 Ohm. So let me explain. The DV4 Ohm has two AMB chip inside. So what it does is take what it's received from RF from the DV4 Mini because the DV4 Ohm itself doesn't have any RF unit. It transcoded, it takes the D-Star that it received or the DMR, it transcoded via 1 AMB chip and then retranscoded in the other mode. So, and then your B uplink. And what I did in Brandmaster and DMR Plus, people were telling me they didn't know, it didn't notice that I was doing cross mode. So, and they say the audio was very, very good and they were impressed uh, because it's actually not a bridge of two type of reflector together. 
the transcoding is done by the dv4 ohm so it is pure dmr signal as i go through the network because it is transcoded locally by the dv4 ohm so we should expect in the future that they will be able to transcode any mode so if that in that case then you will be able to use your favorite radio to do any mode you like without compromising loops you know loops between reflector and stuff because you will be able to do it locally at least that's my understanding so you need to visit the wireless old website to understand exactly uh, the, the future update that will be documented in the manual but uh, for now my test that's what I uh, I, I noticed and it's, it's just <laughs> amazing okay so let's start the test and I'll be back at the end for the conclusion Ben oui, Robert, fait que je te parle en, en des stars, puis toi, t'es en DMR, VA2PV. Ouais, OK, très bien. Oui, très bien. Oui, C'est peut-être normal, parce que je suis loin du microphone, là. Je chante la caméra, puis toute l'équipe, là, c'est pour ça. Fait que ça se peut. Euh, VFPD, VA2PV. Ok, je viens, Pascal. Je vais te donner un peu. Je vais te donner un peu. VA2 PV LSF. VA2 PV LSF. VA2 PV à l'essai. VA2 PV à l'essai. VA2 PV à l'essai. Okay, so that's conclude the test. I hope you enjoy. If you have any question or comment, don't hesitate. Go in the comments below. I always answer also my email. If you write to me at info at va2pv.com. Uh, also, uh, please subscribe. That's the, it's the way to support this channel. Stay tuned. I got, I got a documentary that is coming very soon. It will be something different that you never saw into amateur radio. It's a documentary about ham radio, but it's for ham radio. It's not uh, made to inform the general public about ham radio hobby. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, presently, the, the video was shoot everything is was in French so we need to translate the video I have some friends right now doing the transcription and doing the uh, voiceover in English uh, of the documentary so it will be uh, easier to follow for the English viewers uh, but this is a story uh, anyway I won't talk too much about it but uh, it's uh, represent about 20 hours of film maybe more uh, that will that was compressed into a 21 minutes documentary with a lot of image and uh, a story uh, a good story to tell i believe so i can't wait to uh, to to see the comment about that the whole purpose of that youtube channel is actually to to do stuff like this and this is the ultimate uh, production that i was able to do with only one camera and I was doing the interview, the lighting, the uh, the sound, uh, and everything. It's not perfect, but I was able to do it. And I think with in post production, doing some correction, it, it's not that bad. Actually, uh, the story is very fluid, and uh, 
I hope you will enjoy anyway. So stay tuned. That's why I didn't post a lot of video lately online. But uh, stay tuned for that video. Maybe in two weeks we'll be online. So uh, thanks for watching. And once again, please subscribe and save any trees.